And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. <laughs> 